Hey everyone, Lensmanos here, welcome back to Delivery Incorporated. Uh, first things first, uh, apparently Acacia Logs are the best to use in here because they give more uh, more latex, so they give like 4 millibuckets or something uh, of more latex, which is a fantastic thing instead of the 1. Um, 1 millibucket per 12 ticks I think it is, or 4. Uh, let's see, I want to make one of those drums, so at delivery because hopefully we can I don't know how many let's see how much one of these takes I forget because we still need to send those two buckets that the people you know never gave me the <laughs> return on which is unfortunate I am really low on iron and I still don't have enough to make what I want but I have a solution well there is a solution. We'll we'll get to that in a second. Can I put another one in here? Will you take two buckets? No. Apparently not. You will take one bucket. Can you get to the next level up then? Tier two drum. Okay. Good. Oh, and I lost the bucket that I put in there. I'm glad I got a bunch of it. Wouldn't have thought it would have avoided it, but whatever. It's cool. Okay, so that's the two buckets that we require of latex. Let's send it up by drone. Not sure if it's day or night. I did just go for a bit of a walk, and I'll, I'll lead more into that in a moment. Uh, so I've done a bit of running around and inspecting the world, and... Uh, hopefully uh, the server's okay with it. <laughs> anyway, cool. Let's head back downstairs. I need to get rid of some of the junk in my, in my inventory. And having the RF system is a lot better. Uh, now, someone mentioned, and I forget who it was, and I apologize for that, mentioned putting everything into refined storage. So in refined storage, you have fluid drives as well. Um, in terms of the fluid storage, I don't know whether like 4,000 is a lot, uh, really unsure. What's a small 64k, 256, 1024, and then 4,096. Okay. So yeah, so I'm guessing it, it goes on millibuckets. So if I make a 64k fluid storage, whatever disc. We'd be able to hold 64 buckets of liquid in there, I believe. And then we'll need to go along with all like, um, I don't know if there's fluid importers and exporters or whether you use the same ones. But if we do that, we'll hook up like uh, honey maybe. So at the moment we're turning this into honey blocks because I don't have any of the bottles in here at the moment. Um, but yeah, it reckons, hey. I'm going to just hand it in, did it? Yes. I still need to do the liquid energy. That's going to take a while. Got a new email. Digital miner is now available. <gasps> a digital miner. Thousand bucks. I have a thousand bucks. A digital miner might be good right now to just to bring in um, resources to process. It's going to pull a lot of my, my power, though. Hmm. It's, it's tempting. It's very tempting. Actually, let's read our email. I need some fancy glass to build my new house. Framed glass from Quark, which is iron and glass. Wow. You know what? Cha-ching. All right, let's claim, let's accept that one. Uh, again, this is going to, that'll get delivered tomorrow, I think, is how that one works. Still got iron processing through here because we need a lot. Uh, still collecting things up. I haven't gone and um, connected any of this stuff to here yet, and we will need some more disks. I did get iron seeds up and running, and I have set up, 
a seed reprocessor. So this guy is fairly cheap. It's just some iron, some solium, which is solium dust. So there's um, solium ore in the nether and you get solium dust. And so I made this guy up. It, it's fairly slow and it takes takes power or, you know, um, a fuel. So what can I put in there? Let's just use a bit of wood in here. There we go. And then it turns the seeds into essences instead of having all these extra seeds, which we don't need. Just throw them up here in the chest and it will turn it into extra essence. So we've got 14 iron essence. It's eight per. I think it's a six iron. So it's not a ton, but uh, it's a little bit closer. So let's go and jump over to Ozzy's base. Now he, he said I've can, I can jump over and borrow if I need something. Uh, he did give me all these seeds, so um, I don't find it cheaty if I jump over, but I did go for a trek. His base is miles out. Uh, my map's not, actually not gonna load. <laughs> His base is in here somewhere. No, it's the other way. It's this way. It's down here. This is base all the way down here. So you can see I went for a bit of a walk. Um, but luckily, ooh, before we go, let's read our email. You need a 16k storage disk. No worries, we'll get to that. Let's jump over to Aussie's base. Right when it hits night time. So we'll sleep when we get here. So we don't get attacked. We'll have a bit of a look at what um, a base looks like when you've been playing for a bit. So you can see he's got uh, a bunch of hopping bonsai pots making all sorts of materials. Uh, this looks like it's a crafter making yep, essences. Very nice. It's an interesting sort of wood, that one. White cherry saplings. It's got all different types of saplings with Imperium farmland in it. Wow. Just just a little bit of stuff. Are you right there, bro? You're making noises. Bit of cactus. Yeah, so you can see we can uh, have a bit of fun. It's got a few quests to hand in. Look at look at this. Oh, look. Want some, want some stuff? Wow, you're doing well, buddy. What is that? Ethereum. Okay. Is the pneumatic craft stuff going on? It's an interesting looking tree, wherever that... I don't know what this is. Ah, that's the nether portal. A nice setup. So that'll be a prefab... Um, prefab design for a nether portal. And then he's got a few bee houses. They've all got different types of bees in them and they're all hooked up around the back there and connected up to a system. And a nice mob farm over there in the distance. So that's a similar mob farm to uh, the one I have in my other series, which doesn't work in that series. <laughs> but this one does work. He, he has mobs in there working. Uh, this is a centrifuge. So this... An ender beacon? Interesting. This is similar to what I need to build, but I'll, mine won't be the elite centrifuge but this is how an elite one works he's got you know six different things being processed at once um so i'd like to get to to doing that this must be his uh latex production very nice got an awesome base here mate so yeah the the the, the quest says three by three by four but that's three by four by four so I, I don't know, like when you hover over multi-block size is 3x4x3 three by by three, consisting of one controller and the rest casings. So you can see it's one block up from in the middle and the front face, so three wide and then four deep and four tall. So I don't know. We'll try 3x3x4 three by three by and start there and see if it works. Maybe the extra layer is just uh, four speed or extra capacity now 
He said I can come borrow some iron. Interesting. All this easy villagers stuff set up. It's got a So it is the iron farm making the noise. That's annoying. Uh, he's got all sorts of auto crafting and it's a cobble gen or something running. Downstairs. Oh, very nice. Nicely done. All right, let's uh, borrow borrow a couple blocks of steel of, of iron. Just want to see what he's got. We can't. Don't want to move any of his stuff. It's just a normal grid. It's tin. I swear he said he had iron blocks in here. Hmm. Maybe he used it all. Oh no, there's iron. Just doesn't have any in blocks. Oh yes he does. He has two systems. So I just want to borrow. Just I owe you 90 iron, Aussie. <laughs> Let's go and go and make some stuff. Hopefully that's enough. To keep me going. Alright, so as I said, I want to build the centrifuge nearby so i was thinking like here somewhere uh that way we can like pipe out and into it so okay so it's going to go here and my idea would be and then controller at the front all right and hopefully that's that's what's required. Let's make some more casings. Looked up a bit of uh, our stuff. I'm probably going to have to jump back over there. <laughs> no, I'm going to. Uh, it's casing. So centrifuge casing. This one here. That's six. Let's start with that. Oh, I do need more. I'm, I'm, I'm... Okay. So I, I don't know if it's a full multi-block or if it's just an external um, set. So that's something I'm not 100% on. I need at least 12. Do this properly. Don't forget the top. Do you form? No, so I do need to go one more high. Okay, that's fine. Move our torch over one. Okay, so one, two, why am I doing that? Oh, maybe it's not working because I didn't fill in the middle. I didn't even do a bottom. Look at that. How daft am I? I th maybe it needs a full. Maybe it's a full block. I don't know if it's an empty one. If, if I'm going to need to go and get more iron, aren't I? Let's just try it as a full block. Nothing really changed. It's still not accessible. Okay. How much more iron do I have? Okay. I think I'm going to be pushing it to make what I need. I met a redstone before I met a iron. Well, that's not that's that's unfortunate. Um, don't have any redstone in there either. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Um, do I have no other redstone? Goodness me. Uh, 
Ish. I'm gonna owe you some redstone as well, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> I don't even know if that's enough. Might be. Now the. Okay, cool. That's working. Okay, so we can process three things at once. And it's going to need power. And it's going to need items. So let's cut this off. All right. And I think it says you can pump it in on any side. You can. Okay, so we've got iron going in. Now, uses of this, we could turn it into blocks. Okay, so what's, how useful is a block? Does it process it all better? Is it like something, I don't know. I'm gonna need to look into that because Ozzy was obviously doing it with blocks. That makes a lot of sense. Power. Okay, things are processing. Awesome. Okay. We're not getting a lot of drops here, but and I'm not sure where the, the fluid's going to go. But if I grab this guy and take him over there, we can turn it into honey blocks, I guess, for now. So let's take all of this away. Okie dokie. Uh, let's get, do I have enough for an importer? I have an importer, that's right. What have I got no cables? I think I've only got sevens, probably not enough. Let's make another set and let's import this stuff automatically into our uh, our system down there so we'll bring that out across here who needs a farm anyway right like so Good, and then guess, does that work? Yes, it does. I don't know what it does with fluid. I don't know if you need a particular, all right, fluid. Is there a fluid importer? I don't see it. I, I like, again, if I make a fluid, storage or is it just worth turning it into blocks i don't know let's check what a fluid storage is worth oh these are look at these massive 262 million oh my gosh that's from extra storage okay so just like refined storage as fluid interface i guess you would need to potentially pump it into a fluid interface which is isn't anything hard interfaces we would need importer and exporter machine casing we could make a Make a 64k disc, we'll just try it out. I don't know 
if I need to pump into a thing. I'll, I'll need to get a fluid grid. Pretty sure that's how you work that one. Get the fluid grid. It's just a normal grid. I'm going to need a bunch more cores. I need slime and string. That's what I need. I need, I need to focus. <laughs> I need to focus. I need a grid. I need a construction core and a destruction core, which means I need two of two basic processes. I made a redstone. Yeah. Two of them. Has my digital miner turned up? Oh yeah. Hello. Digi miner. I need more windmills. That is going to have to happen. And then we need somewhere to place this that can import straight into the system. So I'm thinking this guy will end up being like there somewhere. And then we'll push items straight in. Config will be max, max of, well, pretty sure, pretty sure it's 32 is a max, yeah. And the minimum zero, max of 60, so, yeah, I probably want to make that uh, max of 58. I suppose it doesn't matter, does it? I'll make it max of, like, 100, and then just the filter is... I think I can do a, a star or is that how it works? It's doing everything. It's been a while since I used well, I haven't used it in one sixteen, so that's where I'll end up putting it, I imagine. All right, so you're running, things are being imported. Very good. It probably wouldn't hurt for me to like, just for giggles, <laughs> let's make a mess. Um, I probably should like turn these into blocks and that would make it process. And your nest full of, yeah, it's full of, full of honey. We need to put that. Oh, that's right. Those things break, don't they? Okay, so at Berea, that's no, not called Berea B. Resourceful. Yeah, I need one of these things, or I can make a bottomless honey pot. Basically, just pumping honey into it for the sake of it. One of these, please. And I have, do have some fluid pipes on me. Let's just set this up for the moment. Till we can um, work around it some other way. Okay. And that's just going to turn it into hunt blocks. Doesn't cost me anything. But that'll get it running again. And hopefully, hopefully, we'll burn through some of this stuff. I will need to upgrade it. All right, how are we going with power, actually? Oh, we seem to be okay. All right, so that's that's definitely a good step in the right direction. Uh, making a few more of these or getting them faster somehow would be nice. Um, as I said, turning them into blocks might be a good idea. I don't know whether I need a lot of osmium at the moment. Let's turn the uranium off. Nickel. Yeah, see, there's a lot of stuff. I probably just... Probably a little silly of me to... To do what I got, I need redstone. Redstone's good. 
Redstone and iron, I think, at the moment, are the two that I really need. Osmium's not a big issue. They're all in there fighting over the flowers. Look at them. <laughs> uh, diamond's fine. Lapis can stop. And... Iron's fine. Okay, cool. That should limit it down a little bit. Okay, let's look into... Got a couple of minutes left. What do we need to make? Biofuel, energy in buckets, the framed glass, which is glass and thing, and then a 16k storage disk. That's a lot of material. Probably not terrible at this point, especially with the crafting mechanic that I have. Um, trying to think what's best to do at this very point. Okay, so we obviously got to go towards biofuel. Which doesn't look terrible. We've got one piece of plastic, I think, at the moment. Now that, now that this is happening, I guess I can either... You know what? Let's break that. And for now... Do this. Excellent. And that'll get us some uh, latex production happening. And then there's a chance the the log will break, and there's a chance that it will also just get turned into um a, a stripped log. So actually, what I might do, I'm gonna pick you up, please, and you. Let's move you a little bit and let's put this tank here and then hook things up like so. I want to do that, this, and I'm just making a mess by the way, like that. And then I can put a block placer above and a breaker below so that if it does turn into an, a stripped acacia log, it won't stop. Let's make that other piece of plastic. Which needs dry rubber cooked in here. I've got those two processes. We were making a fluid thing, but let's move to this. Pity machine frame requires a redstone block. And that. And what else? We need two gold gears. So I can't be out of gold, can I? Am I out of gold? Wow. I'm out of gold. Run out of everything today. Yes, yeah, so I had stuff running for too long. Did I run gold for a bit in here? Yeah, got a fair bit of gold. It's all good. Once I take these out, they're, they're probably out for good, and that's a problem. I want them all run through, and the honey blocks are going to fill up. And <laughs> Dry rubber can go in. Iron ingots. Got a little bit of gold here, but not enough. It's enough for like one ingot. Do I have any ore? Nope. All right. I do have gold gold seeds I could get going. Gotta be careful using this this tool on my chests and that. Uh, sure, take the pipes. Okay, slowly cleaning things up. There is an email. Uh, you need a photo. Acting a study about the natural behavior of villagers and clubs. Would you please take a picture of an iron golem next to a villager? Wow. Okay, I can do that, but... I'd need both of them in a village. 
So much of me wants to go bloop. Good. Gold coming in, that's what we need. I need a few more. And obviously if we can get this underway, we can hopefully um, clear this out to the point where it's just running two or three at once. I can't put any of this in here. I'd love to. Short of, what if I get a hopper? Don't have any. Uh, let me do a thing on that. Can I have a hopper, please? And I literally just go like this. Yes, one way to do it. Okay, then they'll feed in when they can, I guess. Okay, let's make. Need one more gold gear. And one more plastic. And that gives us the biofuel generator. So we needed eight buckets of biofuel. Biofuel is made by putting whatever into a. Oh, did I make the wrong thing? Yeah, that's the generator. I need the bioreactor. Derp. Bioreactor. Um, slime is going to be a problem for me here, I think. Let's just start. I do need a couple more plastic now, but it's okay. It's gone over my wrapping up point. So let's see how close we are. We've got no bricks, got no plastic, got no slime. So bricks are easy. That's a couple of bits of clay. I'm going to need to find some slime. Um, I can go in there for now. Yeah, but I'm going to need to find a couple of slimes to defeat. And then hopefully we can get this underway. There's the two bricks. The Got plenty of dry rubber now. So I can make plastic. There's six pieces of plastic. May as well melt that up. And then all I need is slime. So I can do that in between. Uh, and then I need another few drums. A ton of glass. I need a few stacks of glass. Glass. It's really just... I could make a stonework factory, but you need pink slime for that. Pink slime's going to require dissolution chamber with a glass pane and water. Oh no, pink slime in the middle. All right. Yep, lots to do. Still a ton in this pack to be um, to be getting through. Need to clean up the base a bit and start automating because I've been told automation is key, and we really need to be um Did that help well now it's showing that's unfortunate um automation is key to what's what's the go in this pack because if we don't uh, automate a lot there's going to be stuff where i just don't have the materials and it's going to take me a long time so i think i can see me expanding the base a lot around this area i'll push out the walls um, i don't want to go outside of the, the hill that i'm in though so i've got to be careful there hopefully i'm down deep enough to be okay but until next time i hope you enjoyed it and uh leave your comments down below and we'll uh we'll continue in the next one thanks for watching see you later